Example 2.1. In this example, we have a gasoline tank, which is buried. However, there is a leak of water, and the water has seeped in into the gas tank. We have the specific gravity of gasoline to be 0.68, and we need to determine the pressure in the interface between the gasoline and the water. We also need to determine the pressure at the bottom of the tank, and we need to determine this pressure values in terms of pounds per foot square, as well as pressure head in terms of feet of water. Let's start with the calculation of the interface, which is 0.1, and we're going to use a reference point of zero, which is the open point. So we write V1 is equal to the gamma of the fluid that we have, in this case is gasoline, the distance between them which is going to be 17 feet, we're going to use it as H1, plus the reference pressure, P0. Okay, a couple of things in regards to this. To calculate the value of the gamma for the gasoline, we're going to use the specific gravity. So we know that the specific gravity is defined as the density of the fluid, which in this case is gasoline, divided by the density of water. The specific gravity could also be defined in terms of um, specific weights. So we could say specific gravity of the gasoline divided by the specific uh, gravity weight of the water. Therefore, we could simply say that the specific weight of the gasoline is going to be the specific gravity times the specific weight of water. And we know that a uh, specific uh, weight of water is going to be 62.4 uh, pounds per feet cube, cubic feet. Okay, using this information, we could calculate the value of P1. Please note that the value of P0, because its gauge, is going to be equal to zero. Therefore, P1 is simply going to be equal to 0.68, which is the specific gravity of gasoline, 62.4 pounds per feet cube, which is the specific weight of water, and the distance between the two points, which is 17 feet. And as I said before, P0 is equal to zero since it gauge pressure. At the end, this is going to give us 1721 pounds per square foot. So this is the pressure at the interface. Using the same process, we're going to calculate the pressure at the bottom of the, of the tank. So we're gonna say P2 is going to be gamma of the fluid between the two points, which in this case is water, times the distance between them. So we're gonna call it H2. And the reference is going to be P1, okay? If we follow exactly the same process, so we're gonna have P2, is going to be 62.4 pounds per cubic feet. The distance between them is 3 feet. And P1, as we calculated before, is going to be 721 pounds square foot. Therefore, P2 is going to give us 908 pounds per feet square. Now that we have calculated the pressures in terms of pounds per square foot, we need to convert it into head in terms of feet of water. To do that, you do the following. So you need to calculate the pressure, and then you simply divide this gamma as H. Now we basically need to represent it in terms of the head. And since it's uh, in terms of feet of water, the gamma that we will use, it will be water. So for us to calculate any head, you simply take the value of the pressure divided by the gamma of the particular uh, feed of the fluid that you're looking for. So in this case, once again, it's water, so we use gamma of water. If they ask you for feed of, um, let's see, mercury, then you will use gamma of mercury, and so on and so forth. So let's do the process for the pressure one. So this is going to be 721 pounds per the square and we divide it by the gamma of water which is 62.4 and this is pounds per cubic feet 
Therefore, this value is going to give us 11.6 feet. Okay, notice that because this head is going to be in terms of a distance value. We follow the same process and we do H2. And H2 is going to give us 908 pounds per foot square divided once again by 62.4 pounds per cubic feet. And that is going to give us 14.6 feet. Please go back and do the calculations again and to make sure that you understand how to calculate the pressures and convert them into head of a particular fluid.